Alex. I'm ready. Your time. Welcome to Hot Lap, where we take your favorite YouTube stars from streaming live to rear wheel drive. That's right, they're gonna drive this beautiful Mazda MX-5 RF. Outfitted with race-inspired wheels and tire, courtesy of Tire Rack, so they can drive as hard as they can for just one lap in an attempt to claim the crown jewel in all of automotive entertainment. The Hot Lap Applebee's, you said. The Hot Lap Applebee's $500 gift card. You know him as the lovable anti-hero on the YouTube channel, Gaucha. Moo Haya. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Marchant. Alex Merchant. Alex Marchant. You know, I used to play Need for Speed. Mario Kart, Double Dash, Gran Turismo. Yeah, I got a lot of experience with racing. Just hold down gas, right? <laughs> Woo! I'm your host, James Pumphrey. And I'm your host, Bart Bidlingmeyer. Not opposite day. Ha! This is Hot Lab. So, Alex. What's up? What is the first video game that you ever remember playing? The first video game that I ever remember playing? Uh, God, it's it's almost weird. I can't remember the, the first ever video game. Uh, it's uh, one of the Sonic games. Like growing up in, in the streets of Russia, I had a Sega. So you've been making content since you were really young, like yeah. younger than most people. Yeah, I would say uh, since I was like 16. How has the landscape changed in that time? YouTube just changes all the time, man. A big part of it is growing and adapting and making sure that at the end of the day, you're, you're doing what you like and, and just applying it to what works on YouTube, you know? Yeah, all hail the algorithm. Yeah, algorithm. May exactly. the algorithm always be in your favor. Yeah. Now you're an avid fisherman. I just, I started fishing recently. I did like a, a fishing video where I went up to the Lake Day. Alex, have you ever driven on a track before? Maybe like a go-kart track? You're about to learn how to drive a real car on one. And who better to teach you than our professional driver, Odie Bacchis! <laughs> I was expecting some turbulence. <laughs> I didn't expect Dude. that. Well, Alex has been making content since he was in his teens. Speaking of teens, that's also the last time he drove a manual transmission. Well, that's lucky for him, Bart, because today we are focusing on when to shift in our, our skill, skill of the day. day. Oh man, when do I shift? You might not be asking yourself that now, but you will when you're flying up to the first corner at your first track day. So here's the hot tip. Downshift before entering the corner so you'll be in the right gear to accelerate out. Shifting in the corner can upset the car's balance, and shifting at the exit loses valuable time you could have already spent accelerating. In a car with a manual transmission, ideally you want to blip the throttle to match the revs to the lower gear, which puts less stress on the car and keeps it balanced. But that can be hard to do with three pedals when you only have two feet. So advanced drivers can get it done with a technique called heel and toe downshifting. Approaching the corner, you squeeze hard on the brakes and just before turning in, pivot your right heel over to tap the gas pedal. Meanwhile, you keep pressure on the brake pedal with the ball of your foot. Depending on the car's pedal placement or if you have Sasquatch sized feet, you might be able to just rock the whole side of your foot towards the gas to blip it. Heel towing takes some practice. If it's not happening, downshift just before turning. To learn about how to shift, let's go check in with Odie and Alex down at the track. Yeah, so what I want Odie to teach me is, uh, I mean, uh, what, what's a stick? Power band's about 55, 6,000 is ideal to shift. That's when the car is, you know, moving forward as well as it can. We're going pretty fast right now. Uh, I noticed there's no, like, hold on thing here. What's the lunch break for this? I just don't want to vomit, you know, <laughs> during the race. I think Alex's biggest strength is that he wants to do well and he's motivated. I could just see it. It's like a 5,500, throw yeah. a second gear. There you if go. Power band hit that max limit threshold. Bam, third gear. You're ready to drive this oh, thing. I'm ready to drive, dude. I've been observing. Don't shift when you're supposed to. Wait, was it the other way around? Any questions before no. I let you loose? No, just wondering what's for lunch. Applebee's have the onion onion platter. 
that there's that out back. We swapped seats after you showed me how to drive. I really hope you paid attention. Right foot, gas, your hands on the steering wheel, makes the car turn and it's pretty easy from there. What am I doing? Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, I forgot to drive for a second. There, there was a point where I forgot how to shift. You're in fit, so pull it back down. Put That's it not good. You know, the focus was launching the car, shifting into second around 6,000 RPM, doing the same into third. And it wasn't a smooth task. <laughs> yeah, getting into gear is the hardest part I noticed of the driving experience here. All right, any questions? Uh, just, is there gonna be dessert? My game plan is just to take home that trophy. $500 worth of Applebee's. I want to take the whole entire company out. Bar tabs on me. With his pants off. I did it. Wow! He's feeling quite confident after just a couple of laps under his belt. Well, can you blame him, Bart? I mean, Alex is practically one of the coolest guys I have ever met. You wouldn't understand. You weren't in the van interview. Well, confident doesn't mean everything, James. You gotta be able to back it up on the track. Well, then good thing that it's time for Alex to lay down his hot lap. Alex pulls up to the track, cool and confident. My name being up there is probably the most important thing here today. All right, make sure I put this thing in the first gear this time. World, bright, or world, world, I'm gonna break some records. Odie is right behind him in our chase car. Beautiful camera mounted on the front of that car. Or suction cups, or? Looks like we're almost ready to start. Now the camera on the windshield. Up! It's about time to start. Yeah, just real quick. The camera on the, is that a magnet? Let's go to our movement watches. Hot lap starting line countdown. Three, two, one. A good jump off the line for Alex. That's thanks to those sticky Yokohamas, courtesy of Tire Rack. He may have shifted into second a bit early. That's what Odie there was we worried about. Gear. We hit that third gear, then we're gonna slow down here. He goes up the middle of the track around turn one. Cruise on through this. And slow down right here. Oh, and takes a tight line into turn two. Whatever. I didn't take the angle as hard as I should have there, I guess. Looking smooth through turn three. Just so I can pick up some speed. I felt nice. Wide here. Four and five looking very tight. Handling himself well through four and five. See, going in the second gear would have been nice there, I think. He's accelerating on down into turn six with a nice turn into the apex. Nice, Alex! You got this! I think you make up some time on this part. This rough edge. Good through the S's and fast through the skid pad. That's right, Bart. As he takes the last turn onto the final straight. Oh, yeah, baby. And across the finish line. Wow. Woo. This is the reason that this is the most exciting title in motorsport. But let's go down to the finish line for the Tic Tac, for the Tic Tac post-lap interview. Alex, that was amazing. Thank you. You got off to a little bit of a slow start, but I gotta tell you, you were taking those turns like a bat out of hell. You driven in video games, how'd it compare to the real thing? It was like the, it was pretty much like one for one, honestly. Here's Odie, your coach, he's got a smile on his face, that's a good sign. What's up, Odie? Good job. Good job, man. Listen to your stuff out there, man. Chipotle is sending my stomach nice and fresh, but. That's a lesson for next season. We're about to find out if you had enough on this lap to top our hot lap leaderboard and your chance to, for an Applebee's $500 gift certificate. Oh, absolutely. Not associated with Applebee's. Waiting for us now at the famed leaderboard is our host, James Pumphrey. James, I'm gonna throw it to you now. Thanks, Bart. What an amazing display. Alex has truly brought his skills developed in the digital world into the real one. But is it enough to climb to the top of our leaderboard and take home that beautiful, beautiful Applebee's gift card. Alex, I'm ready. your time is one minute, 18 seconds, 0.08. It is not a record, but you are now in second place. You know, it's not last place. Spoken like a true almost champion. A true champion indeed. We didn't see a new record this week. 
but potentially we will next week. Thanks for watching Hot Lab. Please subscribe so we get to make more cool shows. Also, thanks to Mazda for providing us with our Hot Lab car. If you like this show, watch the other episodes. Check out Alex's channel in the link below. If you want to see someone else on Hot Labs? Tweet at them until they conform. Also, tweet at Applebee's till they sponsor us.